a soothing lullaby for baby hunter Cooper. While he lays in a Phoenix Children's Hospital bed, tubed up, this is a glimpse into his entire life of eight months. When I first found out about it, I was completely devastated. His mother, Amber, says Hunter was born with a heart defect called hypoplastic left heart syndrome. Pretty much what that is is on the left side of his heart, it's not, it's not pumping strong enough to pump blood into the aortic valve um, uh, arch that will pump blood to his brain and to his limbs. He had surgeries to help, but five months ago, he got on the wait list for a heart transplant. I felt like it was never going to happen. It was it just took forever. But just this Saturday, before 3 a.m., Amber got a call. They're like, Amber, we have a we have a heart. I, we've already accepted it. We just need your go-to. So I'm like, do it. Just go ahead. Do it. I approve. Do it. Hunter went into <laughs> surgery later that morning and was on the operating table for nearly 12 hours. Now he's recovering in the ICU with his new heart. It's a gift of life Hunter's aunt Crystal Mann helped with by joining a charity called Children's Organ Transplant Association, or CODA, which helps families with medical costs through fundraising events. They are incredibly helpful and extremely resourceful and an absolute godsend to be a part of everybody's family. They are there through you from the start to the end and beyond. They urge families in a similar situation to reach out to CODA and hold on to hope. Don't give up. It will happen. It's just a matter of when. And Hunter is expected to go home in about six weeks, but his family says that it's likely he will need medical care for the rest of his life. So if you would like to donate to his campaign or learn more about CODA, head on over to azfamily.com. Reporting live in Phoenix, Casey Torres, Arizona's Family.